Hello. Greetings. It's time. It's Welcome finally everybody. time. Uh, this is the first physical Shadows of the Galaxy stream. It is. Yeah. Well, I guess aside from the, the two stars. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is, uh, we're doing a pre-release simulator. Yeah, this is as if we were at a pre-release. We're, we're, for the purposes of this stream, we're pretending that we are at a pre-release at a local game store. Um, and then uh, we have only one opponent to play, <laughs> uh, and that's the person sitting across the table from us. So, hello. Yeah, we got in some pre-releases this weekend as well, so they were pretty fun. I, I do think that there's like a potential, even opening a steel pool, potential to get like unplayable garbage. Yeah, <laughs> uh, one of the guys locally said it best. I think when he said that this set is extremely parasitic, which mm. makes a lot of sense, right? Like the bounty mechanic, there's a lot of cards that refer to bounty stuff in here. And you, you might not um, like get stuff to I, work with yeah. that, right? Yeah, I played Gar Saxon and I had Brutal Traditions and like the games where I drew Brutal Traditions I was in very good shape and the games where I did not have Brutal Traditions I was in very bad shape, mm -hmm. right? So, um, but yeah, uh, we are uh, pretending as if this is a pre-release. Um, we're pretending it's a pre-release because we also have access to the Mando and Moff Gideon here. Is should we choose either of those leaders to play um, if we don't like the leaders that we opened? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so we'll start opening. We're yeah, I guess build pools. So that might take us a little bit to deck build. Yeah. Um, um, I guess we can. We can throw stuff on the camera as we open it. Like if we open it, cool yeah. Stuff. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Just bust right into this packs. Awesome. Yeah. And start sorting. The, the whole reason you play a card game is to open new packs and stuff. Oh yeah, that's real fun. Five legendaries. five legendaries. That's insane. I got three legendaries. I got DJ, Evacuate, and Hyperspace Mando, right? So I felt like that was a pretty good pool. Um, okay, I got a Marauder there. Hyperspell, gonna... Space Foil, Rickety Quad Jumper. Okay, yeah, so I played the Rickety Quad Jumper yesterday. I had a game where Rickety Quad Jumper went off. It went three turns in a row. Now, my deck was like one-third at uh non-units just because of the pool that i had mm -hmm. um and rickety quad jumper went went crazy that game um i put it didn't have any space stuff but uh i would say overall rickety quad jumper not that great not, not great. that compelling okay. okay um i'm gonna sort my stuff as i go yeah i am too because that's the easiest way to do uh, it I think. blue blue green red yellow like that I did think it was interesting that they um, reprinted cards already. Yeah, the, uh, like the surprise strike. And stuff. Yeah, surprise strike. I like that. Um, like especially for limited. Uh, Phoenix Shand. Now this is a bomb in limited. Phoenix Shand. Oh, uh, the unit. Yeah. Uh, every time she hit the table, she killed my leader. Jeez. So the armor. Well, I got a Marauder. Good. I don't actually know if that's good for limited. It might be. I mean, it's a four power ambush. Unit in space for five, so gonna be a Cobb Vance. You about that. to start uh, the prunes? Uh, Cobb is good. Yeah, got a Salacious Crumb. I had two Salacious Crumbs. <laughs> um, I would enhance them with uh, with Gar there. Uh, Gar Saxon. Uh, let me put my leader. Foil the Saving Fang Fighter. I did not know uh, that was in this set. Yes, they reprinted that. Mm. Uh, it's very important in this set, I'd yeah. say. Val and Embo. Okay. Uh, I got an Omega. I don't think that's going to make the cut for limited. Omega? Oh, is it supposed to be Omega? They say Omega. Oh, okay. Because uh, they're British. Australian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scanning officer. Bosk. Bosk was like uh, all star and limited yesterday from what I was seeing. It's not that he was unbeatable. Oh, we got Chewbacca. He's just solid. This Chewbacca card, man. I think this Chewbacca is really good. Chewbacca. Oh, the Acos one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Building decks in the sealed environment is actually pretty tough, also. Yeah, you don't. You're like you, scraping. By. You might get like you'll get very like pushed into a corner. Yeah, I think you're just scraping by. Hondo, this is actually greater selection than I had yesterday. 
I think I have like multiples of the same. I got a tarful. I got the hot shot blaster. I got two enforced loyalty. That is not even good. <laughs> Falcon. I might be I'm looking like I'm playing yellow over here. Yeah, look at I got two of these enforced loyalties. Uh, that card's pretty unplayable, I feel like, and sealed. Kylo. Oh, he's rare. I don't know how I, could, I can support Kylo properly, though. He doesn't seem like a... He doesn't seem like you want to play him in limited. I think most times when I, if a leader's rare, they're not designed for limited. Yeah. Right. Boba Fett's armor... Whoever pulls the Darksaber wins by default. Yeah, mm -hmm. the guy sitting next to me, the pre-release pulled the Darksaber. Um, I got a Finn. Um, I got a triple Dark Raid. I'm actually excited to brew with this and Constructed. Bo Katan and the double red slot. So it's weird and sealed. All my rares are ledgers and my first release aren't units. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what... I haven't gotten any cards that I'm, like, excited about yet. Let's see. That was my... I had two Doctor... The, uh, the guy that does a damage to mm -hmm. your, uh, Pershing. Uh, Hyperspace Foil Mandalorian Warrior. Whoa. Wow. wow. Played a few pre-release events, didn't pull anything wild. Give me the crate dragon, yeah. Crate Red dragon would be quite a bomb in this. Uh, oh, this guy's pretty good and sealed. Pre Vizsla. Oh yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, he just kind of he just kind of beats people up. He's got like a huge stat line. The thing about this uh, sealed format is that like you don't have all the ATATs running around at uncommon. Um, and so your uh, your stuff at the at the top of the curve is a lot smaller than it was in the previous set. Uh, we got the client. Am I playing Bosk client? See how broken that is. I got three clan run rescuers and the armor. I wonder if I can make that work. Okay. Come Mandalorians in blue. I got. Can I play away? Fenral. Fenral was pretty good in limited. Yeah. Yeah. Foundling. Two follow the ways. I think on my red's not bad, honestly. Mid game is weird with good, but sometimes limited fours of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like my early drops were awful. My mid drops were awful, but I had really solid six drops, and so most of my games were like play salacious crumb put brutal traditions on it and then like pray that that was enough to hold the ground for mm. me so that I could um, play the, like a Finn Rao um, with like a Van Brace grapple shot on it and let that just kind of win the game for me. So. Okay. Um, I think Bo-Katan is not getting played because I don't think I can play him on a red. Uh, I got a McClunky. This card is very good. It is very good. Um, Jetpack seemed good. Cloud Rider seemed good. This yellow. This yellow is just sick. I'm gonna see if I can make Phoenix Shan, Surprise Strike, two Cloud Riders. Right, Yel the yellow is too sick not to play. Yeah. Um, is my red too sick not to play? My green. This is the green is substantially worse than the green that I had yesterday. I don't know if green is making the cut. Blue. I have four units in blue. I don't know if blue is making the cut. Um. Yeah, I'm doing as much much Mandalorianing as I can. It's gonna be Mandalorians and Wookies. Uh, let's see. I, I mean, a client is pretty. The Super Commando Squad. I was kind of like down on this card, but then I played against it yesterday. And it's very. Annoying. Oh yeah. It's yeah. actually super annoying. Um. So I. I uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Could I? Am I a Cad Bane enjoyer? Well, I mean, Cad Bane seems pretty good. Might just be a Cad Bane enjoyer. Cad Bane with 
red. Um, the gray squadrons are tempting. Red. So what? What do I do with that? Play this unit for free. So you take and you play it after yes. you kill it. Yes. 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 Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I think this card is. Um, uh, I think that card is very good for constructed, right? Really, you think so? Yeah, yeah, because like you know something is fixing to die, right? And so for two, like imagine that on like Vader, right? You just get to play their Vader for free, or there you get to play their Avenger for free, <laughs> or something like that, right? Like you're killing it, um, and you get extra value. So hmm. Underworld and Bounty Hunter. These Hunt's Hitchmen are pretty good, limited. Um, Alright, I've made up my mind. It's yellow, red. Um, yellow, red. Cad Bane. Chrysalis, subbed with Prime. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Appreciate it. Uh, both of these are playable. These are out of here. Okay. Punishing one. Death Watch Loyalist. These all look playable. Underworld Thugs. I got some Mandalorian Troopers. Just stack all this up. We'll count how much this is and then we'll figure out. How much of it stays? I feel like I'm not worried about cutting down to 30 as much in this environment because of uh, Three, smuggling. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I feel like you're more likely to get to your to fatigue. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm playing more 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I got 41 cards here, so we got to get this. 41's probably too many, yeah. <laughs> got to get this down to something playable. 41 playables is, uh, that's a luxury. Yeah, no, I'm, I, think I'm, I think this was like a really good pool. I, I don't think you actually get pools this good normally. Okay. Like, Great. I, I think this is, this is uh, not normal. Great news for me. I'm I'm pretty okay. Mine my pool seems pretty solid. I think I'm just lacking in late game. Alright. I could play Bosk. Uh I could also play CAD. Um I actually don't what do I have? I have one a death mark and a bounty posting. And I have an enticing reward. So, uh, uh, Bosk's like stat line is awesome, but I think I'm gonna go with Cad here. Cad, and we're we're good using the spice mines. All right, this blaster is getting played. Pillage is not getting played. Headhunter, sure. Covetous rivals, sure. Soldier, Insurgents, Gunship, Daring Raid. I did get two Millennium Falcons, so that's oh, probably, yeah, yeah. probably that pretty decent. Good. Yeah. Death Mark, maybe not. McClunky, Jetpack, Cloud Rider, Starfighter, Bounty Postings out. Got some Wookiees. Tyson reward. Search the top 10 cards of your deck for two non-unit cards. Reveal them and draw them. Then if this isn't if this unit isn't unique, discard a card from your hand. This card seems really good, right? Throw it up there? Um, this card seems extremely powerful. Search the top 10 cards of your deck for two non-unit cards. No, oh, okay, so it has to be non-unit. Yeah, so. no, that does seem good, though. Um, but that goes and gets your tricks, right? Yeah. So. Prime Strike, Cloud Rider. I guess I play this Freighter. Triple Dark Raid. I have a Freighter and Punishing One to go get. And that's it. Lurking Tie Phantom. 
Um, Kenton Intimidator. He's a 1 4. Do I have good ways to buff him? I don't think so. I think he's getting cut. Triple Dark Raids, cut. Death Mark, cut. These all do good stuff on the 2 slot. What am I cutting here? How many Mandos do I have? The Uramando. Uramando. So one, two, three Mandos. So the Mandalorian Warrior does have things that it can hit. I think playing a 3-3 three, three for 3 is fine. It's also fine, yeah. Um, the, the stuff in the set is just like so much smaller than it had been. Um, all right, how many cards is this? I got a lot of two drops. Can't cut any of this top end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got to cut another five cards. All right, so I guess Enticing Reward is out now. McClunky stays. Bounty Guild Initiate, I think, is out. I do have quite a bit of Bounty Hunters, but I don't have a way to take advantage of bouncing a Bounty Hunter. Um, Hot Shot, I think, stays in. Daring Raid also probably stays in. It's too good. Cloud Rider, Surprise Strike, Wookiees, and then the second Cloud Rider is all too good. Jetpack, good. This thing comes into play shielded if I control another yellow unit. Probably good enough. Did you play any Legendaries in those packs? No. I didn't I play any of mine at all. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think I pulled any Legendaries. I've never least. pulled a Legendary in the set. Not once. Um... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think I can. I don't think I can cut these two drops. I think they're. Uh, maybe I can cut some two drops. Cut the twin pod cloud car. <laughs> are you in underworld? You are not. It's cut. McClunky Valley. My opponent didn't know how to say McClunky yesterday. I had to explain to them. They should have watched uh, Star Wars on the after Ma, the year 2012. Ma Ki -i -i. <laughs> um, okay, so seven. Maybe I can cut one Mandalorian. Where? I haven't released last night, pulled a Poe and Kylo and played Han. Crazy pulls an insane deck. Holy crap. <laughs> Interesting. Poe is probably like Pose. ridiculous bomb yeah. and trap, right? Five, six, seven. Imagine hauling Poe out ten. on four resources. Yeah. Good God. And just winning the game. Yeah. Last turn. Jeez. Four, five, ten, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, we'll cut one card. We'll cut a thug. All right. Right. Really similar. You have forty more minutes left for deck construction. Yeah. Lemon pools are garbage, but I did pull a dark saber. Oh, yeah, that's great. Well, that's good. Then it's not garbage, then, right? <laughs> you hit a one big ticket item, then it's no longer garbage. One. You get the hyperspace spice mine. Yeah. I got one hyperspace land. What did I get? Uh, oh, yeah, that's from my village. I'll, I'll use that. Oh, yeah. There you go. I played Hondo yesterday. I actually Six. really enjoyed playing Hondo. I think I think Hondo has a, like, a potential constructed build out there somewhere. If you're smuggling and getting an experience token every time you smuggle, it adds a lot of value to all those cards. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to figure out like what you do with Hondo Six, seven, because eight, if you're smuggling all the time, then you're not playing stuff with your hand, and your hand's getting loaded up. So the non-smuggle cards you play are like better off as cheaper stuff that you can do with your extra resources. So like, yeah. what kind of stuff would you play in that deck? Yeah, that actually, case? I, I was sitting down to look at decks yesterday and uh, like potential what to build for decks, and it was like so much more difficult. Yeah. Like so much more difficult. Every, is everything on SWDB? Yeah, yeah. You do have to select shadows mm, uh, if, you, if you select Premiere. 
if you want to put actual shadows cards in your deck, so you may be a little bit bamboozled initially. No, that's fair. Um, I guess, so, you know, because it's not legal for Premier yet. Yeah. Um, so you gotta you do have to select that, but you can add it to your deck from there. So there's a tournament in Baltimore, I think. There's like a 2K at the end of this month. It'll probably be the biggest, like mm. the first biggest tournament. Yeah. For this set with constructed, so that should be really interesting to see yeah. how that plays out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like we'll just be kind of like trying stuff and constructed. Eight. Trying random stuff. Nine. Getting people's builds that they make. And ten. Okay. Well, people who are better at building decks than me, build a deck <laughs> and I'll try it. Such as uh, my first Thor's draft. Hot takes. My my first draft of the deck's usually bad as the as the like the revisions after I play a couple of times. Yeah, you gotta get some reps right. I get, play a couple of revisions, see what I like about the deck and what I don't. Right, because you can like. You can play four or five games in a row with a deck and never see a card, just yeah, to, to, yeah. Uh, the nature of the game. Um, so the whole reason you built a deck, you may not even see. Or if enough. you're playing like against one or two different other leader, leaders, you can have cards that are just complete garbage against those leaders, yeah. but are really important against other leaders, right? Yeah. So it's it's tough to like make a call after just a handful of games with a deck. Yeah. It's good to like get a feel for how the deck functions and how you how it might be better. You're playing the Mando. Cards. Yeah. Playing the Mando. The Mando. As is my right. Seventeen. Alright. Uh, yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Brad, give me the initiative. Hmm. All right, I guess this card is going down there. And then I guess this card is going down. All right, I am playing the Unlicensed Headhunter. Well, I'll play this uh, Y-Wing, which looks sad now. <laughs> I'll um, take initiative. Pass. Smuggle, man. Smuggle! Smuggle, yeah. Makes decisions easier. Oh, right. Um, yeah, the headhunter's going to take out that Y-Wing before anything happens there. I'll play a Protector of the Throne. I'll try, we'll try to throw some cards up here, too, because I know um, people haven't seen everything yet. Yeah, so Protector of the Throne, 2-4 Sentinel when it's upgraded. Yeah, I'll show off this uh, headhunter. This card's very interesting. He seems really good, because I feel like that card could easily get a pile of damage in to make up for that five damage heal. Yeah, and um, if you're interacting early with it, and I, I don't do any damage to your base, mm -hmm. then it doesn't have a downside, right? So that, um, the bounty stuff, I found myself like, like it didn't feel as much of a drawback as perhaps yeah. um, it might elsewhere. All right, I am going to play uh, the Death Watch Loyalist. That guy's really good. I'll take initiative. Okay, um, I will pass. Okay, do something like that. It's okay. Cat is when you play Underworld Cause or Underworld Card, you can exhaust it one new. Yeah, yeah. And he deploys at six for a two, eight, read two. Yeah. That seems pretty good. Um, I'll play a Wookiee Warrior. I don't have another Wookiee. If I did, I would draw a card, but um, two five grit for four. Baze stats. Mm. Interesting. I actually really like the art on this card too. I think it would really be cool. Yeah, the, people hate it. Uh, I they, love it. That's actually people, one of my favorites in the set. People were actually talking about how much they hated that art, but I guess they just don't like fun. Art is subjective. It's fair. If you don't like art, if you hate beautiful things, <laughs> I understand. Um. Hmm. 
thanks to smuggling, I have like a ton of options here. I'm not entirely sure which uh, way to proceed. I will um, I am going to play I guess I'll do this. Uh, we're going to play the Hot Shot Blaster. Um, so, replace with Smuggle. And it's going to the Death Watch Loyalist, who is going to... Um, I think I'll take out the Protector. You have rolls for one? Yeah, and overwhelm you for one. Alright, I'll take initiative. I am going to hit you for three. Um, and then I will pass. Okay. Uh, well, I trade my Wookiee away. This guy is currently seven power. Yeah, thanks to grit and overwhelm. So yeah, I guess I'll fight. Brat, toast. Um, now normally I would just like attack with this guy. So I will. I'll okay. attack you for three. Okay, I'll play the armor. Ah, I'll show the armor. I'm gonna play get a shield token to each of the three Mandalorian units. Would have been much better had my Sentinel shield guy been in play, but it's not. So she'll just give shield to herself. Okay. Um. I am going to play the Cloud Rider. I'm gonna use Cad Bane. To make you damage one of your units. Um, and do I want to ambush in there, or do I just want him to hang around? Can you do that before the resolving the ambush? Um, when you play an underworld card, uh, probably. Um, and ambush is when played. Yeah. When you play when played. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it does. Um, I probably am not jamming them in there anyway. Okay. Um, I'll take initiative. I will hmm. I guess I don't want to I want to use my mana. I'm going to detention block rescue and do 3 damage to a unit. Uh if it was cap if it was like holding a captive, you do 6 damage instead. Mm. So um okay, that's that. Mm, base three. Okay. Uh, you're on tap, right? Yes. Uh, on tap, tap a unit. Three or. Um, I will hit your base for three. I'll play the Millennium Falcon. An ambush. Bang. All right, so no bounty because it's not exhausted. Is that uncommon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am going to deploy Cad Main. Uh, I'll deploy Mando. 
I am going to play when you play an underworld card. So I'm playing McClunky, uh, and I'm returning him to my hand. And I am going to do three damage to the Falcon. And then I'm going to use Cat Bane's thing, and you choose somebody to do two damage to. Okay. I'll attack your base for four. Take it. I'm going to. Play Daring Grade and do two damage to the armor. Your deck is so much better than mine. <laughs> uh, I'll take initiative. Uh, Cat Bane's going to hit you for four. And then I'm going to play an Underworld Thug and a Cloud Rider. And That's then... not limit once for... It is limit once per phase? It's limit once per phase. Oh, okay. Phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that way he's not <laughs> Jesus just... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be probably insane, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he just gunned down like a whole tables worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna pay six to play Fenral. Mm, uh oh, it's five six. One play, you may play an upgrade from your hand. It costs two less. When you play an upgrade on this unit, give it any minus two minus two for the phase. So Fenral, and then I'm gonna play a Foundling on it. Smoke this. Smoke that and exhaust that. Okay. I can't I can't exhaust. I got six or less HP oh, remaining. I could it. actually give this minus two minus two and then, and then exhaust it. But I feel like killing a unit and exhausting another unit's probably better, but I mean there's that's probably arguable too. So that's that's what I'm doing. It's not like I'm killing the had bane with that play, so yeah. Um Yeah, Finn Rao's so good. He's pretty good. Actually, That, that uh, this is like easily slots into a Mando deck, so, right? Uh, so this set has a Finn, a Finn, <laughs> and a Finnick, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so keep them straight. You better know your Star Wars your yeah. Wikipedia entries, right? Know, your, know what you're talking about. All right, I'm going to Finnick Shand... Um, so this is she's gonna do three damage on attack. There, I don't know. Oh yeah, here's Phoenix Shands. Ambush on attack, deal one damage to the defender for each different cost. And in my discard pile, I have one twos and threes. Mm. Um, I think she's just we're just gonna take out the Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Um, so she will take damage back, but um, she's gonna smoke the Mandalorian. I'll take initiative. All right, uh, Cad Bane's going to your base for four. And um, I'll pass. Mm. Mm. Giving experience token does not count as playing an upgrade, does it? That's correct. Yeah. Play an upgrade is an uh, upgrade card has to come from your hand, I believe, so... Okay. I'll just go ahead and send this Cloud Raider at uh, Fennec Shand. Boom. Oh, uh, it's, I was supposed to do two damage to the unit you control after playing an Underworld card with Cad, but don't worry about it. Yeah, it is a Mando, then. Um, Alright, the Thug has gone to your base for two. Um... Like Clan Ren Rescuer. Okay. All right, so that's seven power now. Seven power. All right, I am going to play the Slaver's Freighter. When played, you may ready another unit with power uh, equal to or less than the number of upgrades on any unit. So I'll ready the Underground Thug. I see. Underworld Thug. Uh, this is an Underworld card, so Cad Bane will make you deal two damage to a unit you control. Dead. 
I'll do it there. Um, I'll hit you for seven. Okay. Um, Cad Bane's going to your dome for four. I'll chain code collector and ambush this guy. Oh, toast. I'll take initiative. Pass. So we got what we got down here. Hmm. Um, Cat Bane's gonna go to your dome for four. Arrivals fall. Boom. Uh, I'm going to play pre Vizsla. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to pay one and take the foundling. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, give me that. Here's your six. Take six. I'll take initiative. I'll lose. Yeah. I lose. Let's try that again, I guess. I don't know how I'm supposed to compete with Cad Bane McClunking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Jad Bean. Could have gotten some extra damage that turn I readied the guy. But I guess you probably just attack Cad Bane. With um, the man? Yeah, Chain Code Collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chain Code Collector, I think, is. I'm excited to play that in it's Java. It's solid. Yeah, yeah. You're like Java, chain code, you bounty that guy, chain code collector. Java's going to be a really interesting I think deck. Ja I think Java's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. I think Java's going to be a lot of fun to play. You have to, like, set things in motion. Have you seen the um, the Turbo Han ramp deck? The Red, Red Han? Yeah. I don't think so. All right, so... Oh! Hey! Dropping hey, oh. 10 subs. Thank you, Mr. Anonymous, or they, or Mrs. Yeah. Anonymous. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Textbook example, like, Kaz, probably the best pre-release leader. Yeah, it's just like... I think Boss is really good, too, right? Free damage everywhere, yeah. But, yeah, Kaz just like... Mando may as well be blank, for the <laughs> most part. You tapped one of my guys. Yeah, I don't have enough upgrades as a problem. I think of, like, three... Because I, I had to like try to rip an upgrade the whole time for Fen. Uh, I had Fen in my hand most of the time. Oh. I wanted to play it on that sixth turn where I played Falcon. Because then I could have played Fen and like killed this thing. And yeah, yeah, but you didn't it have much that better. Upgrade. Yeah, yeah. didn't have the upgrade better. to go with it. Thank you for those kept subs though. We yeah. really appreciate the, the um, support. Yeah, so the uh, I was gonna say the um, incremental damage from Cad's nice because you're like trading up the curve yeah. from it. They just randomly kill stuff too. Yeah. The pain. His unit's kind of scary. Also, it's kind of it's hard. He to hits with. hard, and it, the eight health puts him like out of range. Yeah. Something like this. All right, you want to initiative? Yep. Mm, let's play the follower of the way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the Rokai gunship, and you'll do a damage to one of your... Deal one damage to a unit or base when defeated? Okay. It's I'll, I'll it, take this initiative. damage is cross arena. So this card probably plays better than it looks. And it's Underworld Vehicle Fighter. Okay. Yeah. Fighter does not matter. And yep. Vehicle does not matter. Except for the hard point mm -hmm. or whatever. 
And I guess the prepare for takeoff. Oh, hmm. like this. I guess it's like this. I think I'm blocking myself into a specific line. If I do that there. Okay. Take you Joker's headed to the release. Yeah, Good take. luck. Um, I will attack you for two. I'll play a Cartel Turncoat. This is a 2-3 for one. Mm. Uh, underworld Vehicle Fighter with Bounty Draw Guard. Okay. I'm going to Detention Block Rescue, blast it, and then draw a card. Take initiative. All right, pass. Hmm. Thank you for one. Yeah. Four open. Mm hmm. I am going to play the Hunting Nexu. Good lord. That guy's kind of scary. I'll play another follower. Okay. I'll attack you for two in space. I'll play this Gray Squadron Y-Wing. Oh, that guy's a problem. Um, yeah, I, I've, I was hearing reports of this played with Ray, and this... Yeah, like uh, it just buffs up. Yeah, it just gets bigger. Yeah, yeah, it gets to, it big. can get to a three five. It's only four resources worth of investment, like over a couple over a couple of turns. It does work. Um, and it's just like plugging away. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, yeah, I'll take initiative. Okay, pass. Um, I am actually scared of it, so I'm going to attack, and, and then do when the this damage. is defeated, do the damage to the, uh, uh, Y-Wing. So. Fair enough. I'm going to put a Foundling on this guy, and then I'm going to exhaust the Hunting next to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the punishing one and I will use Cat Bane. You're going to do a damage to one of your units. Punishing one is when an upgraded enemy unit is defeated. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'll attack you for three. Okay. I will play an unlicensed headhunter. I don't need to say license for that. <laughs> Frontier Trader. I like this guy a lot. Uh, uh, he's a very it. interesting card. Um, very interesting card. One play, you may return a resource you control to its owner's hand. If you do, you may put the top card of your deck in play as a resource. So it's a way to store stuff in a resource row without smuggle. It's pretty cool. I will take initiative. Uh, once you're done. Yeah. Is it you, you draw a card and then put something down? Yeah. You may return a resource you control to its owner's hand. If you do, you may pay the, put the top card of your deck into play as a resource. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's draw a card. Yeah, he's really good. I'll attack you for one. And then I'll pass. All right. I am going to attack you for three. Mm. 
I'm gonna play the armorer. Uh, ooh. She's gonna shield. Three units. Which seems pretty damn good. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Um, this is what I got back from the. Mm, yeah, I see. I, I had see. to. I had resources for like first turn. I didn't want to. There's another card I was thinking about getting, but that's lost forever now. I guess I'll bring out CAD here. I'll attack your base for three. All right. Um, CAD is going to do four to your base. Take your base for two. Um, the Nexu is going to go to your base for six. Take your base for two. I'll attack your base for three. I'll deploy Mando. Uh, I'm gonna deploy the clan challengers. The um, hell's that? Um, where oh god! Raid three, Jesus. and then while they're upgraded, they gain overwhelm. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm gonna attack the next two. Okay. Um, I will take the initiative. Pass. Is it actually correct to resource nothing here? That seems insane. Um, is it correct to resource that guy? Hmm. I think I do have to resource something. Is it this? I guess it's that. I said to pre-release opponent, couldn't any set one because Star pulls a few packs. He ended up pulling a showcase boss. I was really excited to play more. Is that nice? Oh, oh nice, 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 nice. Uh, yeah, a lot of times I have played uh, the new players, the person who's gotten a, a showcase in draft. That's what you we, want. We had two showcases open in draft. Yeah. This guy had not played the game. He did not even learn how to play the game. He sat down and cracked a showcase. He's like, what's this thing? Yeah. We were like, get a sleeve for that. Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, bang! Six to your base. There's like way less Sentinel in this set, also, as another thing. I die. Yeah. <laughs> I think you you can like kill me this turn too, right? But I'm I could. Just, but I'm you just like next action. action. I'm just the actions ahead of yeah, you. Yeah, I'm dead next action. Is the bang. the next two hit? Um, alright, I'm putting this in the trash can. Alright. What do we do now? Fair <laughs> enough. I don't want to play this matchup anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another deck we could have built with our pools? This one was like I do the, not have another deck. This one was like the obvious deck for me, but... That, that is certainly um, my best deck. Um, th I mean, this deck was... Good. If I had this deck yesterday, I think I'd go 6-0. Like, I, I agree. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I think you're right. I think you're right. Everybody that I played against, like me also, we were struggling to make our decks like functional, right? And this deck was like co very cohesive. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think I had something else. I could maybe play green hero. Maybe. My green is like so bad. It's just it's all those freaking enforced loyalty. I have three enforced loyalties. I, I could have played Bosk because I had the client. Oh yeah. So I could play I could I could have played like blue villain. Blue villain with um red villain, and I think my deck is like not bad. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't love Seal for the set. <laughs> it's like we play <laughs> after like a couple experience. I did. I had a pretty good deck yesterday with the Hondo. The, this set, uh, I think it's because of the synergies. And you this have set. to be putting together synergies. Like in, if like... you don't have, I mean, my deck was just like Underworld plus Cad Bane, right? Mm -hmm. And that's enough synergy right there. Um, and I, so, I had like a lot of Mandalorian stuff. Um, 
but that's just like not good enough. Right, right. That's not good enough. And I didn't, I didn't have enough upgrades to make Mandalorian even good. Yeah, you armored for three and lost, yeah. right? So. Cad Bane Dominator pre release. Yeah, I, I believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Three out of the top four. And I, I had Fenrir on my hand that last turn, but and that would have been maybe enough to get me back in the game. I had no upgrade mm -hmm. to play on him. Yeah. Because yeah. I played my one foundling down. I did have a uh, Boba Fett's armor. Oh, and okay. uh, a, a jetpack as well later upgrades. The jetpack would have been super sick. I had a. I never drew it. I have a foil jetpack. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I bet hyperspace jetpack looks awesome. Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah, um, I am so. quite sure it does. All right. I, I. I don't know. I think we call it there. Then. Okay. Uh, it sounds good. Yeah. All right. We'll have more content for you guys the rest of this week. Um, yeah, we're probably doing some more sealed simulators. Uh, and if we could figure out a way to make two player draft work, I'm, I'll I'm gonna simulate some things and yeah. see if it makes sense because it, I think two player draft would be much more fun yeah. and balanced cause because there's we no way one of us just doesn't dominate the other one in a sealed pool. You know, yeah. We'd have to get very lucky for both of us to get a good sealed pool to build a good deck with that are competitive against each other. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know that that's necessarily like good content yeah right right <laughs> so, it is just kind of lottery right like yeah. I, my opponent beat me and then he was like uh like in the we were playing to see who, who went undefeated in the pre-release he he won the game like kind of handily mm -hmm. and then he was like oh yeah i had a darth maul i never saw and i was oh, okay like, oh great sweet yeah <laughs> sweet. that's exactly what i need to see against this cat bane deck it was a darth maul <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> all right well that'll do it for us then yeah that's uh, that's it fast and easy yeah, easy we will so. see y'all tomorrow for more um, yes. Shadows of the Galaxy. We'll be getting into deck building and stuff next week. So yeah. probably yeah. Sunday over Once, first, once like, the game is fully stream. released, we'll, we'll, we'll start doing uh, some deck building. Yeah. So. Yeah. We just got to open all our stuff then and get all the sorting ready yeah. and hopefully like have play sets of everything, which is doubtful. Although I feel like among the two of us, we could probably trade with each other to formulate play sets. Oh, hopefully. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thanks for watching. Appreciate and everybody hanging around. Good luck at your pre-releases if you have any. And have a good weekend. Yep. Goodbye. See ya.